everyone. Today I am sitting down to do a little bit of a chatty video. As I'm sure many of you know, I started my channel doing smash booking. If you didn't know that, <laughs> now you do. <laughs> but basically a smash book is a type of scrapbook. They were made by Kay and Company. As much as it was a type of journaling, documenting, scrapbooking, it was also a brand, so like this was the brand. I don't think they still make smash books anymore and I feel like the era of smash booking has kind of fizzled out a bit. I still love it, I still have my smash books, I still put things in them. I feel like nowadays junk journaling has taken over from smash booking. The styles of them are very similar. I know that junk journaling's always been a thing, it's not like it's just appeared, but to anyone who's just joining the creative scrapbooking documentary journaling community they're more likely to come across junk journals than they are smash books have never really progressed onto junk journaling i have always wanted to obviously you guys know meg journals who is one of my very good friends who has a instagram and youtube and she does a lot of junk journaling there's definitely a certain vintage style that comes along with junk journaling and i do love that as much as I love my colours, I do love the vintagey look. But yeah, I've never really progressed over to junk journaling. I've just had my creative journals, my art journals, and then my smash books. I've just not really had the time to sit down and figure out what type of junk journal I want, whether I want to make one, whether I want to buy one. That is until this week when my friend Ali came round. I've mentioned Ali before as well on my channel. This isn't an ad or anything for her shop. This was simply her coming over to my house. Um, for a little crafty day and she brought her notebook making machine and we just made notebooks and chatted and also my mum joined in as well so we just had a really nice little day of making notebooks together I will leave a link to Ali down below and I'll leave a link to Meg definitely go and check out both of them if you want some junk journaling inspiration highly recommend Meg if you want to have a look at Ali's shop and all of the paper goodness that she has on there then I'll have that down below as well so you can go and have a nosy they are my friends this isn't an ad this is just me saying go check them out because they're awesome. But yeah, when Ali came over, we made notebooks and I decided this would be a good opportunity if I was going to make a kind of junk journal -y type of journal. This would be a good time to do it. I did make three. One was more a notebook though, so I added more like lined paper in it. But this one I added more kind of like smash book pages into it. She brought a whole box of scrap paper and stuff with her so I got to choose some pages from there as well but I also had my own papers. This is the notebook or journal that I made. She had all of this like faux leather, it's kind of like card so it's like paper on this side but then on this side it, it looks like fake leather. She gave me a bunch of it as well because she had so much of it so I got spare to make anything else with it if I wanted to and I also wanted to make a little journal with some notepaper and Pokemon cards in in a Pokemon card sized format of a notebook so that's what this one is I don't think I'll be using this as like a junk journal I'll probably keep this in with all of my like Pokemon cards and stuff but I thought I'd show you because it's just adorable it's like a dinky dinky version so she had this black uh, faux leather card um, so I decided to use that as the cover for the journal. And then inside I've put a couple of bits of mount board, which are like thicker card, so I have a bit of leaning space with it. Because I've chosen the black for the cover, and then obviously the wire that she had was like a brownie bronze. It just kind of went with the paper pad that I had. So the papers that I used... Let me grab it quick. As you can see, it just kind of goes really well <laughs> with that sort of style. So I feel like I did unintentionally go the vintage route with this, but I still absolutely love it. And I know with my style and the way that I do smash booking, the way I do my journaling, it's definitely not gonna stay super vintage inside. <laughs> this is gonna end up getting colorful very quickly, I'm sure. So yeah, this was the paper pad I used. Um, it's just lots of like woodlandy toned down colors. Um, very, very pretty. I, I do like this one. I've just not had a chance to use it because obviously I tend to use a lot of colour in my journals. Um, so I've had this sitting sitting in my stash for a while. It's by First Edition Papers, which is the craft label. It's an old one though, so I don't know if it's still available. So I used lots of those papers and then I obviously went through her papers as well and picked out some. The papers that I picked, they're all different thicknesses. They're all different, like, we've got black paper. There's, there's paper with words on. This kind of reminds me more like a smash book page. This is from that paper pad. Um, I've got a little envelope in there which opens out. I've got some of these little shorter bits of paper that have a little fold over. This is like super thin, I think she called it onion paper, I think. I might have got the vegetable wrong, but <laughs> we'll go with onion. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, 
I don't know, I just kind of went with plain pages, not too many lined pages. I cut some down to be different sizes. Um, and obviously I added in the amount of pages that she said would be good for the size of the wire. And I just made a little junk journaling notebook. I'm not 100% sure on where to start with it. This is my difficult part. I don't know if I'll start it in this video. This was more just like a show and tell of a new journal that I made. I also wanted to kind of reach out to you guys if you do do junk journaling on how you use yours. I know there's a lot of collage involved, which I love. I love a bit of collage. I know I want to use it more in a similar way to my art journal where it's more just like a free free flowing journal that I can just add to do things in whenever I want rather than being like I want to document this moment with this photo da, 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 da. I do feel like with this it's going to be a bit different to my smash book I put things in here that are like memories I don't know stuff that I've got given from people little doodles things that I've kind of hoarded collected little mementos that don't really fit in my creative journals that's what I use my smash books for it's more just having a space for those things I then have obviously my creative journals which are more documenting moments with photos I obviously have a few little mementos and stuff that I put in here but a lot of the time it's more photos and memories than it is things I also don't do too much artiness in here either and then I have my art journal which I obviously keep to my patreon I don't share process videos from here um, on my channel but yeah this is much more like just just playing with art supplies and collage and things like that. So I think this journal is going to be much more kind of a mixture of this and my smash book, I suppose. The papers I put in here aren't ones that are going to hold a lot of water. They're not going to hold a lot of like mediums, like art mediums. I think I am going to go more the collage route with this, but don't expect this to stay super vintage because I like my colour. As much as I love the vintage vibes, I love my colour more. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to put my own spin on this. Um, it was just nice to use some of the papers and stuff that I've not like, used in years. I am really tempted to get some little corner, like book corners to put on here. Just because I think it would make it look so smart. I don't know how it would hold with the um, card. But we'll see. I'm sure I can find some on eBay or something. So that's the sort of direction I want to go with that. I just thought I'd kind of hop on and share that because I didn't want to just be like, hey, new journal, here's what I want to share. I didn't want to just post a video of me using this and not kind of explain it a bit. So this is kind of a little intro. I don't know how often I will share it on my channel, but hopefully, you know, if I'm in the mood, I fancy sharing it with you guys. Um, I might sit down and do a little session in here. I feel like this is a super quick video in comparison to my others. And if you're a junk journaler, let me know down below. I'd love to know what you use for yours, whether you have bought one, made one, or maybe you might use something like this, like a different type of journal that's not necessarily aimed at junk journaling. Like with anything journaling or documenting or scrapbooking, I don't think there is or should be a set book that you should use for it. Everyone has their different preferences when it comes to size and shape of the journal. You just got to find what works for you. When I was making this, I didn't want to make it super big. I didn't want an A5 journal because I find those a bit too daunting. Even my smash book is quite big for me. That's why I use a standard size TN for my creative journal because the pages are just not quite so big. There's enough space to put a couple of photos and journal but like it's not too big. Even though it was a short video today I hope you enjoyed seeing my new journal. Thank you all so much for watching. As I said I will have a link below to Ali and Meg. If you're a patron then your name will be on the screen now. Thank you all so much for the support over there. You guys have loved the March collage sheets which makes me so happy because I also love them. If you do want to become a patron I always have a link to that in my description so go and have a nosy see if you want to come and join us over there. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.